Okay, this is one of those true dyslexia moments, but it's a create a quick tip. The other day I did this shot and I did it in Tahoma uh, because I wanted to create parallax. So basically the foreground comes at you a little quicker than the midground and the background. Okay, parallax is kind of cool. Every once in a while it's quite handy for an establishing shot. In Krita, I've created this quick facsimile of what I did there. Here's the gist. You got the background of the sky and the mountains, then you got the midground, then you got the foreground, then you got the extreme foreground. So there's four layers. Now this has been very challenging for me because being dyslexic, I have to basically think about this in reverse and it's enormously difficult for me. So I've done this video three times. I've blown it every time. Even though the first time I did it when I wasn't trying to explain it, I got it right. So that's kind of interesting. Transform mask. Here's what you do. You add a transform mask. Boom. Okay. And I'm going to add a keyframe and go here to frame 60 and take the whole kit and caboodle and scale it up. Okay. So what did that do? Well, that took everything because all those layers are in a group and it's just scaling up everything. Okay. Now what we want to do, this is the part where I got to be really careful. What we want to do is we want to take this transformation and apply it to the most front three layers again. So these are the, and this is where I screwed it up, is because the transform mask is up here and is only applied once, but it's the bottom layer that it's being applied to just once. That's why I, I have a hard time with it. I have to flip it in my head. It's weird. Okay, so what that means is the other three layers that are more in front, group them, con control G. Now take the transform mask, duplicate it, and put it on that group. Okay? Now take the two frontmost layers, group them, take the transform mask, duplicate it, and put it on that group. And then finally, take the layer that's the most in front, put it in its own group, duplicate the transform mask one last time, and put it on that group. Watch the magic. Isn't that crazy? Easy, 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 easy. And the only reason it works is because you've got you've got actually a single transform mask with one move, which, by the way, I think is a little too aggressive of a move, um, that's just being repeated more and more times. So this one is actually being translated four times, three times, two times, one time. Cool, huh?